welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be unboxing a Eureka crate and I'm excited to get into this and to share it with you. So if you are new to my channel, I create this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this video. Okay, so the Eureka crate for this month is trash get trash get ball <laughs> that's kind of hard for me to say trash get ball like basketball but with the trash can i'm assuming it says build a pop action basketball trash can and sink a three-pointer so that sounds kind of cool <laughs> i think my son's gonna love doing this so this is what it looks like when we open it up we have a <laughs> little trash right here so these are going to be our instructions all through here and they're usually extremely clear which i really love and then at the very back they have their kind of magazine it's instructions and magazines combined into one and so this is always fun to look through get other ideas and learn other things about it so and then in here we have our hoop here's our little hoop for our basketball here's a whole bunch of i don't know like um, trash bags <laughs> Maybe you put these inside so that catches everything. So we have tons of like little black washers and a bigger washer. There's lots of little pieces in this one. So these are a whole bunch of like little screws sort of, and there's a screwdriver in here as well. And then we have a bunch of wooden pieces, whole bunches here, lots and lots. And then foam pieces and some clear washers in here. And then we have our bigger pieces that I can't get out. So this is the last thing in here. So this is gonna be our trash can right here. This is gonna be our basketball hoop. So you can put it here. So this will be fun. Like you just set it on the floor and can throw your trash into it, I guess. Maybe I'll have him put it under his desk and he can store all the trash there that he has, that he accumulates throughout the day and stuff. <laughs> and then he can take out his own trash or maybe he'd wanna put it in his room, I don't know. It just, it's a fun idea and makes throwing away the trash more fun, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Okay, so Mace are finished doing the Eureka crate and it was actually really good and a lot of fun. I feel like this one was a little bit easier than some of the previous months because we had the lockbox and the perpetual calendar and there was a lot of inter, like inner working parts that you had to make sure were all correct before you put the rest of everything together. And with this trasket ball thing <laughs> that I'm gonna show you in a minute, that wasn't the case. There were still a few cool parts, but it wasn't as complicated as some of, the, some of those. But there was an issue, so I'm gonna show you. It still works and still is useful, but I wasn't wor gonna like worry about trying to exchange it because one of the pieces was duplicated instead of being a different piece, so it doesn't work the way it's supposed to, but I'm gonna hold it up for you. So here it is. This is what it looks like. And it was very, very easy for him to put together. It does have all these little black washers on it. And I feel like they kind of come off easily sometimes. So they do send a bunch of extras. Usually I just throw them away <laughs> because they're usually kind of hidden. But since these ones are exposed, maybe it's a good idea to keep them just in case you need them. And the reason our extra trash bags are up here is because it's holding this down so it pops up which is super cool so here's the problem so this back panel and this panel are exactly the same and that's not what's supposed to be happening <laughs> this one's supposed to be different so up here it's supposed to have some little holes i'll show you the picture in a minute so that you can maybe i'll just hold it up now so it's supposed to kind of look like this so you can do the latch right there 
So we weren't able to do the latch because it doesn't have the right piece for us to do it. It's just that this is the duplicate of the back piece and it's supposed to be different. So normally you would, you could push this down and it would latch, but right now you can't. So we put this on here and what you could do, just have some sort of paperweight and then it pops up or you can just leave it always open, you know, cause that makes it easier to throw your trash away. Either way, it still works. I think it's still fine. It's not something I'm gonna go complain about, but we weren't able to do the latch part. So we just kind of had to improvise with it. But I thought the hinges were super cool. So that's kind of the more complicated part. It still wasn't even that complicated compared to the lockbox or the calendar that we did. He was able to put them together himself. Sometimes these little screws that they have right here, sorry, now I'm gonna like get hit in the face by this, are a little bit complicated just because they're flat on one side. So it's really hard to grip them and tighten them all the way. These ones actually, for the most part, were pretty easy. They do give you a whole bunch of clear washers. So if there's a gap between them, you can use the clear washers. So on a few of these, not all of them, but a few where there was a bigger gap, we put the washers in and then it worked just fine. But I just, I think the hinges are very cool. It pops up very smoothly. And then you can shoot your little baskets in it and throw stuff away. Just don't throw anything like super huge away because then you'll break the hoop. So there's that. And I don't know if there was anything super complicated. Like I said, just some of the putting the screws together. Some of them didn't thread as well as others, but still it all worked pretty well. And if we switched them around, they sometimes fit better into a different, like not in bolt situation than some of the other ones. So he got a little frustrated with that. But other than that, I feel like this one was very, very simple for him to put together. And it was quicker too. I still think it took 45-ish minutes, but we didn't have to like work through all of the little problems of trying to make sure it was all working before we put the rest of it together because the most complicated part is exposed right here. So it would be very easy if it wasn't working to take it apart. And in here, <coughs> sorry, I'm gonna cough for you guys. In here it gives all these troubleshooting things. Let me find it, it's like towards the back. So if something isn't working the right way, it tells you some, maybe some things that might help, <laughs> which I always love because I've looked at this several times. Today we didn't have any problems. <laughs> that might be a first, <laughs> but, but usually we do. And so I love this because it is very, very helpful. And then it gives you some suggestions of how to play basketball. So it's like aim for the square, make the game your own, and then it shows you how to empty the can if you do not know how to do that. But then also in this book, it talks about how it all works. So it says behind the design and kind of goes into everything that works in this trash kit ball can. I don't know what you call it. It's a trash can that you can play basketball with. And then it also talks about parabolas. So like when you're shooting a ball, you know, having that arch and stuff, arch, arc, arc, I don't know. Anyway, and then it has some sports technology here. It has some other really cool, just fun things. Some other ideas for how you could use it. It has a fan, you know, it says this is defense, which I think is super funny. So you could put a fan behind it. So as you try to shoot, the fan would like blow it, <laughs> which is just hilarious to me, which is, so you can just take this backboard off because it's not like permanently attached to the hinges. So then you could put the fan behind it or you can make it higher so they hung it up like on the wall, <laughs> you know, or a hook on the back of a door. So there's a lot of like fun things you can do with it. And so besides that part just being the wrong part, I feel like it all went really well and it's still functional even with the missing part and a lot of fun. I don't know, he didn't say where he's gonna put it, so we'll see maybe up in his room because I feel like that's where he draws the most and like uses the most paper. So that would make the most sense probably for him and he doesn't have a trash can in his room. So maybe we'll put it up there. But it was a lot of fun. I'm excited to see what next month's project is because I've been really enjoying the Eureka Crate. So if you enjoy seeing these types of videos, please give us a thumbs up and I will see you next time.